Hey everyone, this is Phil White again. This time I'm going to show you how to map a list of points on a Google map. This is a process called geocoding and here I have some data that is downloaded from the Greensboro Police Department and we're looking at incidences of vandalism and their locations uh, that took place during the month of December 2014. And geocoding is useful when you have information like this that's linked to a certain place and you want to map it and uh, use it as an illustration or share it with others. Really quickly about your data. You need to have it formatted in a spreadsheet. It can be a Google Sheet like I have or you could also use a Microsoft Excel sheet or just a CSV file. And you always want to make sure that you have a descriptive headings for all of your columns because you'll need those later when you're telling Google uh, which columns to use to place their points. And you also need to have all of your uh, addresses or your location information in one column only. And in this case, I downloaded this data, it came in two columns. The um, address line, the street address was in one column, and the state and city were in a second column and I just combined those using using a simple concatenate. You could also um, use lat long coordinates here or even city, uh, state, or countries. But I recommend using addresses or latitude and longitude uh, for the highest precision. Okay, so to make your map you're gonna open it you're gonna open up another browser with Google Maps and I've already got one open but it's just maps.google.com and if you're signed in to your Google account, you'll notice a little drop down menu uh, out of the search bar. And it will have your recent searches and also have a link to My Maps. And you're going to want to click on that. That will open up a little menu where you can look at some past maps that you've created, or you can create a new map by clicking Create. Now, once your new map is loaded, you'll have a table of contents menu in the top left. And to start adding points to your map, uh, you've got to connect your data to it, and you're going to click the Import link. This opens up a dialog box where you can, uh, if you've saved your data in an Excel sheet, you can browse to it by clicking this blue uh, button in the middle, or you can just drag it into this uh, dashed box here. Since mine's connected to a Google Sheet, I'm just going to click the Google Drive and scroll down. And here is my spreadsheet. I just named it Greensboro Vandalism. And I'm going to pick that and press the Select button. And wait for that to load. Sometimes it takes just a little bit for Google to uh, geocode and place all of these. Okay, so now we have to tell it uh, which column uh, contains our location information. And that was a column I just named it location, so I'm going to choose that, click continue, and then Google's asking me to pick a column uh, to title our bookmarks by, or our place markers. I'm going to choose description here. And you'll notice these are just linked to our column headings um, in the spreadsheet. Now that we've chosen that, we're going to click Finish. And Google is going to place all of my points on a map. And here they are. And you can, the cool thing about this is that it's interactive. If you click on any of these place marks, um, it tells you the description and it's linked to the data in your spreadsheet. Now, you can change the look and feel of your map a little bit. If you hover over the all items here, you'll notice a little paint bucket uh, to the right. You can click on that and change the color if you want. Uh, you can also change the shape of the icon. You may also want to um, color your points on a map based on a common attribute. Um, to do that, click on Uniform Style. And basically this means that right now this is set to a uniform style where all of these are the same. But if you 
click on this you can change it and what we want to do is style this by one of our columns so in this case I'm going to choose description and then we have uh, different types of vandalism uh, colored different way so you can see all of the auto are in yellow uh, instances of graffiti are in like some kind of purple color here and kind of helps you find them a little bit quicker so once you've got your map um, set up the way you want it you can share it by clicking on the share tab the share button first you need to name it I'm just going to name it Greensboro Vandalism December 2014 and click Save then the shared settings will pop up and will give you a link that you can um, share with others that will bring them directly to this page and if you want to embed this in your blog like a WordPress or a blogger first thing you have to do is change the access rights from private to public so click the change link click public on the web and then click save and now you're done here to get the embed code you click on these three little dots here and go down and choose embed on my site and you'll be given the code that you can uh, copy and paste into your blog so you can have this in a little window of its own uh, within a web page okay well that's it for now um, I definitely encourage you to play around with Google Maps and uh, learn how to use it and learn how to customize Google Maps and think about ways in which you can incorporate this into your own class projects and uh, map your data. That's it for now and as always if you have any questions please feel free to email me or you can use the Ask Us button on the library homepage. Bye for now.